everyone, this is Hannah from Wonderful Woodlands and today we're gonna look at how to bind off knitwise. So here I have four rows worked in a stockinette stitch and we are going to look at how to bind off these stitches when you're finished with your work. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work a knit stitch like normal and slide it off. Actually, we're gonna work two stitches like normal. So you're gonna do the first two stitches just like you've done all your other rows. Then before we go to the third stitch, you're gonna take your left hand needle, you're gonna slide it into the first stitch and you're just gonna lift that stitch over the second stitch so that it catches. Then we're gonna do it again. We'll knit one, take the first stitch, lift it over the second. And again, knit one, take the first stitch, lift it over. Knit one more. Take your stitch, lift it off. Knit one, take your stitch, lift it off. Knit one, take your stitch, lift it off. Take one, knit your stitch, lift it off. Knit one, and over. Knit one and over. And then here we get to where we have just one stitch left. So when you only have one stitch left, you're gonna take, um, you can cut your yarn here if you'd like. Sometimes when I'm not quite done with a work yet and I don't know how much yarn I'm gonna need like to sew my ends in and I haven't measured yet, I don't just wanna cut it and guess. And so sometimes I'll actually take the whole ball of yarn and just pull it through like this. And then you can, oops, you can pull this here through so that it gets, nice and tight. And then once you measure your yarn and you know how much you need to either to sew your work up or to weave your ends in, then you can make your cut when you're finished. So that's binding off knit wise. We're also going to look at binding off purl wise when you're on a stockinette stitch. Sometimes it's nice to do a knit wise bind off on the knit side and a purl wise bind off on the purl side. Um, for a garter stitch, it really doesn't matter if you do a knit or a purl bind off. I think the knit bind off is a little bit easier. Um, so this tends to be my, my favorite one to use. 